Come on, log it. Yes, I think so. Hello? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to another Sunday stream. Uh, I'm going to carry on with the stuff at the bottom here. I'm going to carry on with the wall clock that we did started about two weeks ago. Getting all the sensors ready and then getting the PCB in a certain shape so we can just plug it in at the back of a connector. As always guys, please feel free to ask any questions. Uh, I think everything is fine. I am going to just get the, the screen we're going to use so we can start making provision for what we actually want to do. OLED. spell so what I want to do is actually just make a the PCB fit the back of this so we'll have female connectors there and then we just clip it on there I think maybe I should just make a Instagram post so tell the people we are online mm. what is going on here? my phone's broken broken Hey Adash, 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 Mr. Gupta, how are you doing? I just want to make an Instagram post saying we live and then if anyone else wants to join, they are welcome to join and have a chat, uh, add to your story. Mm. I'll just take a photo. How are you doing? What are you up to?
Mm. And we got the names of it R1, G2. Uh, not supported. Doesn't really matter because we just have to make a PCB that fits one of them. And then you have to use a cable to go to the other side. So it does not have to be, yeah, perfect, I guess. Ah, stuff at the bottom. So this is a, what type of header is this? So this connection is important. I'm gonna save it. So then if we go to our ESP, we can put the image up. It's just easier to keep it on your schematic. Hey Joe, how's it going? So that's what we want. Is there a part, parts list? Mm. 
What is this connector's name? I think it's just a generic one. Let's go male, female. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. So sixteen. One, two, three, four. So it's two times eight. There we go. Just be a normal Bolex connector. It's a bit slow. There we go, something like this. And now we can just give them the same names. Come on. Now let's just get these the same names. Made this a bit long. Uh, da, da, da. that one Airness. It's a bit long, but we can make it neater now. G one. 
My crown, I will always just have a crown symbol. Hmm. So let's just make sure that pin one is top left. I'm assuming it is. And does the spinning go one, two, three, four? Does it go one, two, three, four? Just double check everything. I'm good, thanks yourself. How's your Sunday been? <laughs> what do you mean the 80 kilograms paid off? I feel like a bit broken at the moment. My neck is actually quite sore. Because I failed on 83 after that. But I was happy. I was happy. And now it's finished for a while. Now I have to train for a marathon. So see how that goes. Cool. Let's just get the PCB going. How's it going? How's your whole startup environment going? You still wanted to phone me to ask questions, but that never happened. Mm. I should say first, I should say first. Hey Patrick. Um, because it's part of the open, so we first did a 15 minute type workout. And then you got seven minutes to try to go as heavy as possible. So I, I had a I had a 70, 70 kilogram start and then I just 70, 80 because I'm too tired. Now we can rather do it offline um, on Discord. I want to try to finish this clock thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had, to, I had to shave. I was getting irritating. It's getting irritating. Ah, oh, come on, man. This key cat. How you been, Patrick? I haven't chatted in a long time. Now I have to wait. I'm trying to update to the PCB and then... Patrick, does your keycard also do this sometimes? Just takes a while to upload to the PCB or update. Then I must push nothing. Yeah, you were last time, but I wasn't here last week. I was a bit sick. <laughs> No, uh, I must be computer then. Ah, there we go. Ah, uh, I didn't do the... That's fine, let's just sort this out first. Yeah, I feel better now. Thanks. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm cool now. Back to normal. Oh, I need a male man, not a female. It's the same. We can just change the footprint. Let's just say before everything goes crazy.
<laughs> if I want. I want to, I actually spoke to, I spoke to Hashad and he wanted to do a, a, a thing together on stream about all the different plugins. So it's part of the plan, but he seems a bit busy at the moment. Because I want to, because definitely. So I've got a couple here, but not a lot. Like I've got the teardrops and the snap video. But I do want to. So I shot, said he wants to do it. I'm still waiting on him. Because I want to do a whole stream just about plugins. Um, need to update this. It's not right. Cool. So let's just make the board outline. How's your project going, Patrick? Mm. So I'll probably make something like this. Just a bit bigger with all the sensors. Oh, nice. Yeah, but it's a fun journey. And work, do you manage to get the time with work during the day? And when do you do stuff at night time, I guess? Uh, what do I want to do now? I want to check the size of this thing. How's it going, man? <laughs> you look like a zombie. Yeah, I'm struggling as well with it a bit. Um, like working full time and then want to do your own stuff after hours. It gets a bit hectic, but fun. I want the RGL matrix. Ah, come on, you must have it. Where are you from, Roy? Okay, that's a good start. Glad you can make it, Roy. Let me know if you have any questions there. Israel, nice. I actually do the stream to answer people's questions about PC design. I just do my, my own projects on the side. Um, yeah, but if you have any questions about stuff you want to know specifically, just let me know and I will do it. Um, well, I'll step. So if you want to know about a certain footprint or how to place a wire or any specific, just ask me and I'll go through it. We do have videos on YouTube, of course, as well, but I don't mind doing stuff. Yeah, you have to work to live. You do, that's true. Um, so I'm just looking for a nice little step file of this so I can put it in uh, KiCad and then makes it look nice. Oh, I think Kerry's going out. Oh, <laughs> she's having friends over. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So I want this step file. 
So GrabCAD is always a nice place to get stuff like that. Um, it's not really the end of the world if you can't get it, it's just nice. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is nice. So this is half the size because you want 64 by 32. This is very nice. This is, I'm downloading this. So, Roy, do you do any PC designs or you need to this? Sorry? Yeah, so. Okay. Sorry, Gary's just telling me that some friends are coming over to speak to her. Uh, let's save it in the place. Current projects. What is this again? It's a wall clock. Smart clock. Where did I, where did I put this? I am very bad at um, saving stuff. Where did I save this project? Plum pot all in one clock. Stay files. Come on. Yeah, I'll just do the files at the side here. Just now something pops up. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's not a stiff file, it's a solid work bot. Oh. Uh, Roy, yeah, so do you want to do it just for hobby, hobbying at home? I would start with KiCad, my pr so this pro the software. We have, I think, about 33 videos now explaining about KiCad and all the different aspects. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll try to think of a project that I would want to do for this example is I want to make a wall clock for myself so in my room here I want a clock uh, that I can connect to the internet with different sensors like temperature humidity things like that hey Maverick uh, so yeah so choose a project that you're interested in so you know web technology what does that mean um, so you can maybe use like an ESP32 Uh, congratulations for what, Maverick? But well, thanks. There's too much information. There's too much. In <laughs> too much information. Um, so if you want to go to our playlist, uh, maybe I'll share it. But of course, you can ask anything specific, something if you can struggle. That's the idea of this channel. Uh, I want to. I want to help people learn PCB design from. Uh, with no background at all, so that's the idea. Uh, how do I share stuff? Now I'm watching my own videos. Mm. How do I share a playlist? Oh yeah.
sign into chat. What is this about? Oh, come on. Sorry, guys, I lost my chat. <laughs> I'll sort this stuff out. Ah, oh, come on, man. Cool, so... Uh, let me just get my bearings here. I need to learn this whole streaming thing. I've been doing it for long now, but I'm still quite amateuristic. Back in development. So there's a playlist about 30, yeah, about 30, 32 videos now on KiCad. So taking from inst installing the software, how to create a schematic, how to create a PCB, uh, really trying to break it down. Is there anything specific you want to do with a PCB or? Um, Oh, I've got the stiff file now. No, 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 no. The mathematics, more electronics than anything else. Depends what you want to do. Um, so you kind of need to know what a resistor is, right? And a capacitor and things like that. Um, but the internet does make it very easy to just copy stuff from, like if you go to this, for example, the shield we're going to make. Um, if you go to downloads, everything's given. So there is your schematic. So you can draw this as well. Um, but if you kind of have a concept of at least cur current is, what voltage is, um, how it works together, resistors to reduce the current, capacitors to keep charge. <laughs> Open course where, what, what is your exactly exact goal? Because you can do PC design, right? Uh, that is just making stuff or do you want to do circuit analysis um, yeah it's it's a bit to you eh? so do you understand like these type of things do you understand r squared c um, addresses ground voltages no why do you close it jp it's stupid No, let's just make sure all the stuff is here. It's really about what your goal is. Okay, let's just get all the resistors right. But please, there's no stupid questions or anything. Um, so if I use terms or anything you don't understand, Please let me know. No footprint. Do you have a footprint? Yes. So the footprint is basically just how it's going to look on this side. So this is my schematic, and this is my PCB, and these are called called footprints. How it'll look. So these are all different type of footprints, and for the capacitors and resistors, these are 0603 footprints, and it looks a bit like that. What is this? Copper's a bit small, okay. Like this is a USB. 
Ah, yeah, sure, man, right, no problems. Uh, so there's other programs as well, like Eagle. I know a lot of hobby guys use Eagle as well. I've not used Eagle, so I can't say too much. Um, but yeah, and there's other ones you pay for, of course, but Kika, it's free, open source, a lot of help. The community is good. So I just want to link all my components now. So all these schematic symbols, I call it, I want to give them their footprints. Uh, strange. So yeah, I just tell it, please be a footprint 0603. Okay, so you understand the CAD model because, yeah, so basically this is the CAD interface. <laughs> okay, not like that. That's uh, because I have this. So this is CAD, so you understand about this stuff, which is good. You can use SOLIDWORKS to create housing for your electronics. That will help a lot. Are you working, Roy? Are you a student? Studying? Come on, man. good mm, motion sensor uh, yes some stuff we can do what's the IDF because you guys are killing the vaccine thing right you guys are all over the news about being the best in the world about the vaccination stuff What's well, big news? Yeah, I think that Israel is like number one. Oh wow! That's so cool. So you're probably making stuff that you're not allowed to talk about or working on stuff. Okay, there's no footprint. So let's just see what footprint it is. this now uh, come on c 14 this should be a generic so what I did now is I just had to check what the footprint is for this controller and I can see as a sock shoot so 
So when I look at the data sheet, I can see it looks a bit like this. So it makes sense that it will be this. And so SOC 14. Uh, I was just there. Temp sensor, do you have? Yeah, you have a footprint. If it's a real footprint, I don't know. No, it's not. SOT563. So let's see if we can find SOT. Temp 102 for the temperature sensor. So it looks like that. So package and pin size is sort 5 by 3. And then we'll show you this is how you should draw it. Sort. But this should be generic, so we should not have to draw it. So it's something like this. Otherwise, we're going to have to draw it, which is not a problem. Sort. Now I've got tools update, only one R14. So the only R14 is wrong, or well, not wrong, doesn't have a thing. Control F. Oh. And now it should be everything. Nice. So now I'm going to just do it section by section. So we've got this. C14. So you want to keep the components close to each other. And those white lines are called rat nests and that's just telling us how we'll connect it with the tracks. So you kind of just want to keep it the same as what your schematic is.
seems about almost it. So you want your components as close as possible to your RCs normally. It just makes routing easier. We can make it pretty later. Uh, Roy, so PCBs are no. Um, so I did study let's say electronics, uh, megatronics, but PCB designer did after my studies. So I just, yeah, I was fortunate enough to get like a job that did PCB design. So then they trained me on, on the job, I would say, like not an internship, but like an internship. And then I just did it for the last five, six years. So no, I, did, I don't have a, a degree in PCB design, or should I say. Everything was self-taught or taught by a uh, mentor or a, a more experienced person. I studied megatronics, so it's more to, uh, more controls, background and electronics, digital. So it's more the circuitry than the, the pro program, PCB, should I say. So you can also self-learn it. You can t teach yourself, really. Uh, it's not really that like what I'm doing now is really not that difficult. Anyone can do it. Um, when you get to high frequencies and things like that, it does get more tricky, but you can learn it. Um, there's no reason why any, anyone can't do this. And more you do stuff, the more you, mistakes you make, the more you learn, the better you get. It's like that with anything, right? <laughs> yeah. But that's kind of why I started this channel, right? So there's a lot of people who can't afford college degrees and stuff like that. But it does not mean you can't do it. It's it's we live in a perfect world with internet and YouTube and Google. Um, so there's no if you really want to learn something, you can learn it. Of course, uh, experience will help a lot when you work with people way smarter than you and stuff. Roy, we do have a Discord channel as well where we people ask questions about PC design and just share their inputs and stuff. Or just actually about any electronic stuff. So if you want to join that, you please feel welcome to. So if someone struggles with a PCB, they can just ask a question there. There are people on there that know more about PC design than I do and they're also willing to help. So it's a good community. So I think that's everything in this sheet. I didn't finish this last time. This does seem connected. All right, this might be a good way to show you how easy this actually is. So I want to, it's in the description, it should be, um, and then you should just be able to get to our channel. There's a link below in the description. If not, let me know, let me check. Yeah, there's, 
at the bottom last at the end there's our instagram facebook twitter and discord uh, if it doesn't work let me know i'll invite you manually or whatever So Roy, let's say I want to have a this this module that this company sells is a infrared module to just to detect motion. So even if you know nothing about electronics, they will give you the schematic and the code, how it works, and then yeah, you can actually see the schematic. And there's the schematic. So if I go look at mine, I'm basically just copying this. I don't need to really understand it. Of course, it's good if you do. Come on, man. So this, I just take this, put it here, and I know it will work, or should work. <laughs> what do you mean English? <laughs> what do you mean by that? So the IC normally always have inputs and then this output will most probably 99% of the time go to Arduino of some sort. So this chip does all the smart stuff and then it will just output it to the Arduino and use something. Yes, yeah, definitely. Because these companies are quite clever because yeah, if you if they give you this, then more people can use their IC, more people get it working. So it's good sales for them. They're not just doing it to help you. <laughs> they are, of course. But the easier they make it for you, the more people will buy it. So I'm just putting some global variables, uh, you know, programming. So these are like global variables, um, these yellow ones. So I'm going to use it on my top level hierarchy. And then, and then these little ones are local variables, should I say. Wait, what's the time by you now? What's it your yeah, what time? What time zone are you?
So my voltage and ground I'm going to get from from the outside world. Ah, so you're just one hour behind or ahead of us. It's 3 p.m. by me now. Hey, Krish. Ah, it's getting summertime, man. It's getting hot. I was getting too old. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Sunday is normally the strange. Eh? Their art is like pointing in. Weird. Sunday is normally the doing the errands day, and it's going right. And then we've got PN reference. I need to give myself a per 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 per. How are you doing, Krish? Congrats on that award, man. How was your stream? Or your... You should share it with the guys on Discord. And I see India is doing quite well in the cricket. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching cricket on the side here. Yeah. I've got it open here yeah, on the window. They need to get Ben Stoke. That's good, man. What was it all about? Oh, they drop stuck. Anyway. So I need to give myself a, this per, this is the light source that, or the infrared that senses it. Um, so they use a ZCW, it seems. Let me see if I can get the same. Yeah, I see. Yeah, but you guys were going so well, and at the end, you just, yeah, I just got bowled out. Pictures of, but why is there no crowd anymore? It's grown it back, because I thought it was all going so well. I don't like they don't show a picture, I want a picture. Ray, Re reply to what? What did I reply to? You're welcome, but I don't remember what I replied to. Did I send you a message? <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Cool, man, but you won the competition, right? That's my understanding. Ah, uh, man, but that's why I do the Sunday streams, right? So the Sunday streams aren't actually about this. This is what I make here. I can make this after hours. Uh, the stream is more for people like you with specific questions that I can help. Uh, it's just... It's a nice thing for me to do while waiting for questions. Otherwise, I just stare at the uh, the camera and watch some cricket. <laughs> I mean, I just want this. I just want this kick at. I'm too lazy now to.
what what classifies as beautiful code easy to read easy to reuse what what is seen as beautiful code nice comments or maybe uh, so if, if if you're not there anymore and tomorrow someone has to take your code it's easier for them to integrate uh, is it easier for them to expand the code so if they want to change something it's an interesting term to use most beautiful code Gotta love, gotta love KiCad. Oh, sorry. So, this guy already made it. Thank you very much, Mr. Shorokikas. Cheers, Roy. Have a good day, man. Thanks for popping by and saying hello. Yeah, if you have any trouble with Discord, uh, just send me a message. I see some people join, and then I don't know if they don't, yeah, don't approve to the rules, but then they can't chat. So let me know if you have any problems. That's very cool, Chris. Well done, man. Well done. How many of you guys were in a team? What did you win? to love the internet wow that is very cool man Any next projects, any next competitions? Cool, so we got this. We were just going to copy that schematic, right? 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dot, uh, does this make sense? It's no footprint. Software foundation course. What what software are they do? That sounds interesting. <laughs> like the robot following stuff that you did in Python. That is so cool that you are learning that at your age, Linux. I've actually never used Linux in my life before. I'm busy now with the Raspberry Pi project, so I will start learning it. Just never had the need to learn it. Keep up the good work, man. How many years you have left of school? And then you're going to university, or what is the plan? And then you're going to go study. What are you going to go study? Electronics? Computer programming? Or what are you planning? Or don't you know yet? I didn't know yet when I was your age. <laughs> Mine was last minute decision. Stoke is looking good. Should not have dropped him. Cyber physical systems. Wow, I feel old then. What is that? And are you planning to stay in India, go work abroad? Or do you think that far? I always knew I wanted to leave South Africa and try to work overseas. You seem to know what you want. That is awesome.
Ah, they stoke is out. So you want to work in India. How's the market and job opportunities in India? Good. Oh, that's a big number, 560. Sounds good, man. Keep the good work up. What startup thing are you doing? Some big values here. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. And most of the <laughs> tech people in Netherlands are Indian, so no reason why not you guys can do it as well. Your space program is also going quite well. That's all for this page. We've got our VN ground, we've got our sensor, we've got whatever we want to use this for. That's good. Save. Let's update. Yeah, okay, it's just that, it's fine. to short platforms to like me. Nice man. Always good to help those people. I was always good to help people in general. This is it for this. Let's see what footprint we can get. Uh, silly, 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 safe. Manager team up here. Don't they have stat stuff now and cricket and stuff? There's a, unless the pro tier is a, a guy and all he's did was stats. And what do you, what do you gonna do with computer vision to help them? Can you please then go help the pro tier so they can play better? Because they're bloody useless. Um, Did that work? Yeah. 
yeah, AB and the rest of who left the country. Um, I think now that the cold pack deal has ended in, in the UK, so a lot of the players came back now, like Simon Hoff, Armour and all those players. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But yeah, we'll see what happens. So we're getting a lot of players back. Simon Armour's coming back. Um, the other bowler. Abbott, Carl Abbott's back. So they're coming back. And the IPL is also starting in a month's time. It's you guys. You guys, are, you guys are making them play too much cricket, man. <laughs> and they play so well in the IPL, and then they won't. They don't play so well for South Africa. And Morris, Morris can't even get it. Ah, there we go. Morris can't even get a, a in the team for South Africa, and he's like the highest um, guy in the IPL. It doesn't make sense, right? Uh, Morne is playing for, was it, Brisbane Heat now? He's got his Australian citizenship now, so he's left South Africa. Oh, Doug, how's the golf, man? Do you break 100? IPL of SA. I don't think you can call it the IPL of yeah. Upright twenty league is not that good. One oh eight. Sure, you play middle. First time you play normal, right? But the video is sent, I saw the wind was pumping. Krish, my work colleague went to India, yeah, I don't know, three weeks ago, no, no, he came back three weeks ago, and he said there was no corona, life was normal, maybe it's different parts of India. Was it a last minute plan, Doug, to just go have a golf thing? Because now you, I know you were supposed to take leave when I came down. I was supposed to fly back from South Africa today. Damn it. Bullshit. <laughs> Drunk plans. <laughs> Drunk Doug makes decisions for sober job. Sober Doug and then sober Doug has to do it. <laughs> Drunk plans. Those are the best plans. Um, <laughs> I 
<laughs> that sounded like it was good plans though. <laughs> That's legend, man. Was it just you two? Not even a four ball. Hmm. I want to come to India. I want to go. When is the Cricket World Cup there? India is so big, where do I go to? I guess I'll just go to Bangalore and go watch AB. To get these components. Yeah, because I was surprised, Doug. It's like, you guys just send these photos, but I thought you guys would have chatted about it in the group or something. I'm like, okay, why did Ari and, Ar Ari and Aris didn't go? What, what's going on here? Well, I can understand now, it's just like a last minute thing. Yeah, I won't make it this year to India, unfortunately. But Chris, if I come to India, where is the place that I... It's a must that I go. What what city, state? <laughs> Telly belly, yeah. My brother got it when he went for indoor cricket. He says everything burnt, everything except the hotel food. <laughs> Daily belly. <laughs> I don't feel like killing Delhi Belly man. Doug, who's your money on? India or England in this game? Are you watching it? Still far to go, eh? Not making fans here, Doug. <laughs> well, if you look at the scores the last couple of games, yeah, India did not get enough, but... Yeah, but those players who made the runs are out now. 
Who's, who's there? Butler? Ali? Who's, who's to come? Yeah, these pictures are flat, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Is this a serious decider? Yeah, you guys win most games in India. Can't deny that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just saying. <laughs> but you don't have your full bowling attack as well. It seems like Bumra, Bumra, how do you say it? Is not there. Can I just play cricket? Don't I need to join clubs and stuff? If it if I can just bat up and go, then I'll definitely play. But I don't know if it, I don't know if it works like that. I have not played in years. I'm busy training on the virtual reality front. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, that was that was special. That was special. You guys do play a lot at home though, and it's strange though because, like Australia, Australia, England, and India, they all play each other because of Corona, but they won't travel to anyone else. It's just weird. Like what Australia did to Africa was, was not right. They should play that series. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> the mor morale becomes low. I think you guys are going to struggle to beat New Zealand in that final of the test matches. I'm sorry, Chris, but I'm backing, I'm supporting New Zealand in that game. You're playing in the UK, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> our time will come our time will come the cold pack is done our guys are coming back we're choosing players on merit <laughs> I like it morale is low that's why you don't play in Southampton ah, thought it would be at Lord's Oh, I have to face Southy, Bolt. It's going to be an interesting game.
When is it? When is the game? You guys are just lucky we couldn't play so many games, man. We, look, we would have had a comeback. It's first IPL next month. I don't know. Australia could have still toured. That was weak. Yeah, I don't believe. I can't believe it. He's definitely. I don't think he's worth that money. Would you pick him for the Proteus, Doug? I don't think we might have a spot there. I don't know if we have any other all-rounders to talk about. Mm. Yeah, I'm just making some stuff now. So I'm just taking things step by step, so taking every single sheet and then making it in its own little parts. Hey Van, how's it going? No, Chris, you can't, you can't. Playing well in South Africa is not the same, eh? Our level is very low. Our, our, our IPL is not the same. It's really shockingly low. Mm, what did I want to know? I'm losing the plot here. Hmm. 
So the coupling caps must be close to one another. Hey then, um, so in which way do you want to program them? So do you want to do the pure pure coding like on PIX and STMs and um, yeah, like Atimega or do you want to do Arduino programming or Python programming? Which programming do you want to do? Uh, good resources. I don't, there should be a YouTube channel, shouldn't there? Oh, that's a wicket. Um, don't know. Anyone? Do... Okay, so you want to do the low-level stuff with registers and bits and setting it up properly, not Arduino. Um, I can. Yo, I haven't done. Have you tried to look on YouTube? Nothing's popping up there. I guess you can go to the normal stuff like um, what's a study course thing. Anyway, I'll have to have a look then and I'll get back to you. Uh, are you on our Discord or not? I can try and message you. Or you can just. <laughs> Welcome back. What's the best way to contact you then? Then I can, I'll ask around. We've got some embedded engineers at, at where I work and maybe they can point us in the right direction. Like when I want to learn something, I just Google. What do you want to build? Why you want to learn that? Is there a reason why you want to do it and not Arduino or Python or something? Is it for work? Is it just for learning experience? <laughs> uh, hey Elias, that's going well. So I'm just placing all the sheets we did last week and stuff. I'm just placing on the PCB in its own section. And then I will try and make the PCB, probably not today, but that it fits on the back of this. So this is the screen that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to clip the PCB in there and then it should work. Ah, okay. No, why didn't you just say so? I thought you're a complete beginner. Okay, no, then <laughs> then it's fine. Yeah, Roy, I was just asking when you join Discord, uh, what happens? Do you have to uh, approve your email, should I say, or confirm your email? Because sometimes people join our Discord, but then they straight away get like blocked. 
And I think Discord does a thing. If you don't have a genuine email, they won't allow you to join. It's just to, I guess, save people from spam and bots and stuff. But I see you fine. I, I, I signed a role to you as a plumper knight. Cool, man. So yeah, we've got almost over 160 people on Discord. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I think people don't approve it, but it's fine. But was it easy to understand that you have, you have to approve it or what steps you have to take or is it a bit confusing? Are ah, you welcome to join, eh? Please ask any questions there as well. It's easier to chat there just because yeah, if I'm not available, there's always someone willing to help. And if if you want my specific help, maybe just add uh, JP Potgitter because I only get notification when it's for me. So at night time, I'll go on Discord and just scroll through it. But I won't get a notification on my phone until it, I, it's to me. So if you have a question for me, just say at JP and then I will get a notification. We have a nice bunch of cultures on the group there, all over the world, which is awesome. Pressure sensor, right? Humidity sensor. Ah, uh, Chris, that's a difficult one, man, because the Rappi World Cup is also in 2023, and that is down the road of me, so mm, it's difficult. I want to go to the Rappi World Cup. Uh, oh, there's another wicket. Uh, Roy, all our projects are open source. So if you go to GitHub, everything's there. Um, I don't do anything that is not open source. Uh, so if you go here, our PC design files, and then our drone, our keyboard that we did last time. Um, so, and then what I also do is... Just to show how I normally do things. So we always go through steps. <laughs> uh, so we normally do these live streams on the circuit. And then I will put the design on GitHub like this. Uh, I'm going to change this because now you have to download all the designs. I'll try to fix GitHub. But then I'll also make a YouTube video explaining everything step by step, why we did it, how we did it, and how you can program it. So I try to, yeah, so this is a keyboard we made, also live on stream. That's my favorite keyboard, my favorite project so far. So I can use it for KiCad and Altium. Um, so it's live stream, make the project, I put it on here so everyone can have it with the code as well. Uh, there's the code, the Arduino code. Uh, also, uh, libraries, so keycat circuits, uh, drone flight controller, uh, Altium libraries, there should be keycat libraries, oh, not yet. Anyway, and there's some code. So everything's on uh, GitHub Plumpot 55. What we also did lately was... Uh, let me show. Mm, they've got shared projects. 
So on here, on PCB Way, they've got these, all these projects that people have done. And you can actually just click on it. And you can just order the PCB straight away, or you can download the Gerbers, whatever you want. So we've done the same now. Uh, just seeing how I can find it. Where's the search? Hmm. There's another search button here. Yeah, yeah, okay. No. Strange. So someone made a keyboard as well. I'm trying to find it. Okay, so we put all our projects on here as well. So you can also just add to cart or you can just download it. Uh, so there's the keyboard. So we explain everything. Uh, so what you can do is you can just click it and then you'll straight away get the Gerbers and you can order the PCBs from them and then the introductions and stuff. So we've done this as well now. So we just want to give all our designs away for free. That is the goal. Cool. I hope that was informative. <laughs> this only has one component. Nice. <laughs> Guess you can have decoupling capacitors. <laughs> what do you mean by collaborate? Uh, I can help you, I guess. Yeah, time is, yeah, it's difficult, Roy, to be honest with you. It depends what you need. I'll always be able to help and answer questions. But to do projects is a bit difficult. But if you, yeah, what do you, what do you mean by collaborate? You're always welcome to take my projects and um, play with it and change it how you see fit. That's definitely not a problem. But yeah, time is a bit difficult working during the week. And I noticed the more projects I'm busy with, the less projects actually finish. <laughs> no, Roy, <laughs> no. <laughs> I can help you with the server motors and stuff, but that is a big project. Building Iron Man suit. <laughs> uh, Krisha, all offline. I, I'm not allowed, not allowed to listen to uh, music that is copyrighted on stream. It has to be non copyright music.
So we did build a, a drone. Uh, I'm sure you can take that as a base and update it. But I'm getting a lot of requests for people to do um, projects and stuff. So I'm thinking about creating a small team where we can do projects. Time, man. I wish I didn't have to sleep. I think sleeping is wasting so much time. Yeah, so we made a drone with four motors. Um, but that's just a simple, so you can use a Bluetooth app to fly it. Maybe they can use that as a base and just up, update the software. I don't know. Because for the drone, I think the software is way harder than the, than the hardware. Hey, Shiray, how's it going? How are you doing? So normally I would not, if I was doing a piece of design on my own, I would probably not draw these squares and stuff. But I think it's nice to see, once we have the whole board, what each IC is and how we implement it with one another. Um, yeah, so I don't normally do it like this, but for uh, I think it's a good exercise. So if someone joins the stream late, they can see, oh, okay, there's my ESP32, I've got different sensors. So I don't normally do this. I don't like this footprint. It's the same, it's just a different footprint. No, I've never really. I have never. Have you? Is this fun? I don't know. Those people are brilliant. Too. Maybe. That's a good point. 
because my software skills aren't that good. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I can get by, but it's, it's not good like the rest of the people. That's why you have a team with different skills and stuff. Might be a good idea. Maybe you should have, create a team on Discord for competitions and stuff. And then we can all work on projects together. I'm thinking of a way to do something like that. Because there's some people on Discord with different backgrounds and stuff. So why not all work together on a project? We can maybe create different channels where we can chat about the project. Because I am, I don't know if you know Roy, but um, our YouTube got monetized now. So <laughs> nothing serious. But so once a month I do financially sponsor a project for someone. So April I'm sponsoring a guy building uh, kit for cars so people can steal it with GPS and motion detector. So you get a guy from South Africa and you cannot afford to get it himself so he wants to make it himself so so you ever have a project just send an email to us and then we go through the project list I think that's it guys. I'm gonna have to call it soon. I have to go do some some stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna do a weekly stream as well in the week. Because I think if I do this once a week this project will take quite a while. So maybe every Wednesday I should stream. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to run a poll on Instagram and see what day is best for everyone. And then I'll do one on the weekend, one in the week. It might just be better, be quicker, because this project's going to be quite longer. And I like doing it when I'm on stream, so people can see everything. That was going to be very cool. Already, I like it already. So Roy, I do this every Sunday, uh, if, if nothing happens, so every Sunday I will do this. I might just squeeze in another one. Also, I might just yeah, do it longer on Sundays as well. My planning is just not good. Uh, but I think this project is going to be nice. I need to move the multi regulator closer to my USB, but I'll have a battery. So. That's it guys, I think I'm going to call it today, um, so we'll carry on during the week. I think I'm going to stream Wednesday again, uh, I don't have any plans Wednesday. 
yeah so let's have a nice stream on wednesday carry on start placing components start rooting and start trying to get it working on this board here so i've got this board at home so i can test it um, yeah guys hope you guys have a great sunday further i see this is cute <laughs> a bit late now eh? uh college stream that i am Thanks for joining, Ray. Uh, thanks to all you guys. Take the time. I appreciate it. Uh, always, guys, please ask me questions. I'm here to help you guys, not to actually do my projects. This is just fun for me. Uh, but yeah, have a good day. Chris, I hope in, in England, India does it for you guys. Uh, I'm probably going to watch it now later tonight. But yeah, it's going to be tight. 141 for four. Cool, guys. Have a great Sunday. Until next time, until Wednesday, I'll also release another tutorial this week like I do. So I release a tutorial on KiCad at least once a week. Um, let me always know what type of tutorials you guys want, and then I'll try to do that as well. I do have a list of what people asked for. Cool, guys. Bye.